Let's talk about refraction. Refraction is when light bends as it goes from one material to another. So here I've got some water, maybe in a pond, and here's the air above it. So the light is shining from in the air into the water. And if I shine a laser beam of light, I could see that as the light went into the water, it would bend like this. And this is called refraction. This is what causes things to look like if you take a glass of water and you put a spoon in it and you hold it at a little bit of an angle, you'll notice the spoon and the handles kind of separate between the air and the water. So this is what's happening. Light is traveling from one material into another. And there's a number that corresponds to each of these materials. This could be air, this could be a diamond. There's a number called the index of refraction. The index for air is one. The index for water is 1.3. We consider air to be the lowest, so light travels as quick as it can travel in air. When it goes into another material, if the index is higher than one, then the, the light is slowing down a bit. So light is going quickly here, it slows down. As a result of slowing down, it bends. Now, this diagram has all the things you need to know about labeling and, and all the things we need for the calculation. For instance, here's the boundary between air and water. We have a line here drawn at 90 degrees. That's called the normal. We need this line because all our angles are measured from the normal. It would be easier to measure the angle from the surface. It does seem more logical, but it doesn't work that way for the equations. We need the angle from the normal. This is called the incident ray, the one coming into the water. It's in the air. So the incident ray comes at an angle to the normal called the angle of incidence. When it enters the water, this light ray makes an angle with the um, normal on this side, and that's called the refracted angle, angle of refraction, and this is called the refracted ray. So the incident ray comes here, bends, and refracts that way. Now if you notice, this incident ray refracts towards the normal. So for any angle here, if I shine it at 30 degrees, it'll be in this material less than 30 degrees. If I shine it at 70 degrees, at an angle of 70 degrees to the normal, this will be somewhat less than 70 degrees. That's because it's going from what we say less dense to more dense. When a light ray travels from less dense to more dense, it refracts towards the normal. It does the opposite when it goes from more dense to less dense. This path is two ways. If I shine a laser beam in the water up at the surface, when it goes out into the air, it's going to speed up and turn and refract away from the normal. So that's the exact opposite. So if the light is going from less dense to more, it refracts towards the normal. If it goes from more dense to less, it refracts away from the normal. So this is what you need to know. The index for one material, the index for the other, and all these parts. Let's quickly try a sample problem. I've got a light ray coming in from air to water. I know the index of air, we'll call that the first material, is 1.0. The index for the water is the second material, it's 1.3. The angle of incidence, I'm shining it in at 40 degrees, I want to know what's the angle of refraction. We have a simple formula here that relates what's going on in this material with this material. And it basically says the index in this material times the sine of that angle is equal to the index in this material times the sine of that angle. So here's my formula. I'm going to write it here. N1 sine angle 1 equals n2 sine angle 2. A little bit fits there. Now, um, I'm going to plug in the numbers. 1.0 sine, and the angle there is 40 degrees, equals 1.3 sine of angle 2. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for angle 2, the angle in this material, the angle of refraction. So 1 times the sine of 40 well, 1 times it is just sine of 40, 0 0.64, or round it off to 3, equals 1.3 sine of the angle of refraction. Now I've got to divide both sides by 1.35, so I get 0 0.643 divided by 1.3 equals 0 0.494 equals sine of angle 2, the angle in the second material. So I'm hoping you know how to do this on your calculator, but you would say 0 0.494 
second function or inverse sine, and I get the angle is equal to 29.6. That angle is our angle of refraction, so our angle of refraction is I'm going to round it off 30 degrees. So this angle here is 30 degrees. Now how can we make this more complicated? Not, not, there's not much we can do. I can give you, there's one, two, three, four variables here. You need three of them. So on the test, basically your teacher's going to decide, I want them to solve for the angle of incidence. So they have to give you this index, this index, and this angle. So there's only a few possibilities. You must be given three, solve for the fourth. It's pretty straightforward.